three hams will certainly kill him. Three hams. Hello, and welcome to the Catboy Rants. Um, <clears throat> just a few things. I'm not really going to do a full rant here, just because today is Thanksgiving. Or for those of you who are watching this tomorrow, you guys are probably crowded around like a Best Buy or a Walmart or someplace waiting to get that brand new thing at super low prices. Um, myself, I will be working. Um, I do not do retail, I do medical supplies. But uh, I will be working. And while you guys are all killing yourselves doing that, I will be helping people get what they need. Um, a few things I want to talk about, more than anything, is... Uh, the transition you have for characters in, well, especially in comic media uh, versus television. You can see the same thing about books versus TV, um, or books versus movies. Uh, biggest one out there that really gets me that a lot of people have gotten is World War Z. I refuse to watch that movie underneath the grounds that everything I've ever heard... I, I've, I've had a conversation with the person about the movie itself. I, I went up to him and I said, Okay, so you watched World War Z. How was it? Oh, it was okay. Okay, did they have uh, did they have zombies in it? Well, yeah. Were they slow moving or fast? Fast. Okay. World War Z was slow. Um, well, in it, um, did they talk about, like, the Lobo? What's a Lobo? Uh, did they talk about the Sir? No, they didn't talk about the sir. What the hell's a sir? Did they talk about distress? No, they didn't talk about distress, but people looked pissed and really scared. Did they talk about how um, they had to reform the army? No. Did they talk about how that anything about, you know, the world around the zombies or how, you know, if, if they would get cold, they'd freeze? Not really. Lovely. Lovely. So basically all they made was a generic zombie movie, but didn't really go ahead and put anything in there. I mean, if, at least if they made Brad Pitt's character named Tom Wainio, excuse me, Todd Wainio, at least we'd be able to go ahead and actually say, okay, yeah, that's one character from the book, that's fine. But no, nothing was in there. And that's, that's the biggest thing. I mean, you get some actual transitions of movies, like uh, Stardust. Wonderful book, wonderful movie. I like both of them. Um, Neil Gaiman actually liked both of them as well. He was actually there making sure everything was okay, and he got final say. Good job. Um, <coughs> then you see movies like, like I said, World War Z. Um, and then, of course, you get comic book movies, which is basically up to the actual director. I mean, if you look at... Batman, which is a very dark character. I mean, not dark as in right now, a lot of people think dark as in, okay, he just slaughtered a bunch of people, he did it because his dad tells him to do this, blah, blah, blah. No, dark as in he is a brooding character. He's a character that is basically uh, spurned by justice and a bit of revenge. No matter how much he tries to go ahead and say, no, it's not, it is a bit of revenge. A revenge at the society as a whole of trying to go ahead and make it to a place where he, uh, no child will ever have to worry about getting their parents taken from them. Um, you see that in movies. Um, I, I love uh, Michael Keaton, uh, Batman, the best. Uh, I know a lot of people out there about, well, what about, what about Adam West? Adam West was great, but um, that was the campy Batman. That was the Batman of the 60s. Uh, the 80s Batman, the Michael Keaton Batman. That was the Batman of the 80s, but of the time of the gritty, gothic Batman. And really, that's the, the most epitome of the Batman itself, is a, a gothic a gothic Gotham. Um, hell, you've got freaking goth in the freaking name. So it's a darker uh, film. Um, granted, of course, you did have Tim Burton actually direct it, so, of course, you know everything that Tim Burton's ever really made has been a bit dark. <coughs> um... I look at everything he's ever made. I mean, Edward Scissorhands, Corpse Bride. Hell, I've got Sweeney Todd here. Um, absolutely love that film, but, you know, it's like, shit. Uh, nobody's redeemable in that film. Um, Alice in Wonderland. That would be, I want to see Tim Burton do My Little Pony. 
That's what I want to see. I don't really watch My Little Pony. I've got a Doctor Who's just because it's Doctor Who, bitch. Um, but I want to see Tim Burton do My Little Pony. Just want to see how fucked up that can be. Think of it. You've got, My Little Pony, My Little Pony. That won't be the freaking intro. Be like, My Little Pony, My Little Pony. We are here, and we will fight the giant thing that looks like someone just spit up a bunch of parts and sewed it together. And then you'd have, like, Edward Scissor Hoof's Pony, who'd have, like, two big, you know, she'd have probably have to go like that, because they don't have fingers. So it would be like, da, 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 da. it'd be like, boop, 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 boop. or maybe the mane would be like a big pair of scissors. I'm putting too much thought into this. Um, you know, you, it's freaking. He's he's awesome. I love the, I love the guy, but he, he and you know what you're gonna get if you're going to watch a Tim Burton movie. Um, <laughs> don't want to see Tim Burton do the Avengers. <laughs> <coughs> That's a, that would be a bit, uh, yeah, let's, let's not get into that. Um, one, one show I really wanted to talk about, and I was going to do it, but then I realized, you know what, this is a bit too dark, and it's getting towards the end of the month, and I, I wanted to kind of get a lot of comic books into it, but uh, Spawn. We're gonna, we're, I was going to talk about Spawn. Um, and, and Spawn is a great character in itself. I mean, you see that character pop up, around in the 90s, and, and um, uh, Todd McFarlane did a wonderful job on, on Spawn. Um, I mean, you've got a character that loved his wife, died, wanted to come back to see his wife again, and does, but it's later. His, his, his best friend is married to his wife, they have a child together, um, he finds out all these, you know, all these things that happened, and he's just pissed about it, but he doesn't have a full memory. And I saw a lot of people actually do that with characters later on. Not so much the whole, I made a deal with the the, the devil kind of thing. No, it was more of a less, um, you know, have this character who lo did something and goes for the redemption. But it's not the, I did this one bad thing. No, I did several thousand bad things. Now I'm looking for redemption. And I can't get it because I'm still this, this anti-hero, anti this super evil guy that's trying to be good. Um, I mean, because that's the whole thing behind Spawn. Spawn is a hell spawn. He is basically the the the, the general of uh, uh, the legions of hell. And when he dies, quote unquote, he will go back to hell, and he will then lead them up. So you know, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. And it's been Spawn has been over in a couple different mediums, of course, video. Excuse me, video games, a live-action movie, and, um, of course, the HBO animated series. Out of the three, I like the HBO animated series much better, but holy shit. Um, I will be honest, the HBO animated series was the darkest, most brooding thing. I mean, fucking, fucking Death Clock be like, that's fucking, bro that's fucking metal. Uh, that's fucking brutal. Um, but I remember getting up late at night... Because parents were like, no, you can't watch that. That's that's terrible. That's porn. And some of it was. Some of it was fucking porn. Um, it was just straight on people going at it, but animated. It was hentai. Um, and it was just weird watching this. I mean, you, you'd have one scene where two people would go at it. And, I mean, w one scene that really got to me is Chapel is... Uh, having sex with a woman, I mean, very rough sex with a woman, but, uh, from behind, and he starts just going at it, she starts going, oh yeah, oh yeah, he's like, oh, 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 and the next thing you know, he starts crying, and the reason he's crying is because he's thinking about all the people he killed, and I'm like, that's fucking fucked up, man, you don't think about that when you're having sex, you don't think about that shit at all, okay, you, especially not during sex, this is going to kill the boner. Another one is when um, a, uh, I can't remember who it was, because it's been a very long time, I've got it, but I don't want to watch it again, because it's one of those, it's one of those series you watch, and then afterward you're feeling like, oh, this is kind of, I mean, because there's a scene where uh, um, there, this two guy, this guy is, is in bed with two women, um, Chapel is there, wakes up the guy, it's one of the mob bosses, I know, and uh, 
One of the one of the girls wakes up, screams. He shoots her. The other girl screams. He shoots her too. Leaves the guy, mob boss in there. And I'm thinking, what did the girls have anything to do with this? Huh? They just woke up and screamed. This is a totally immoral act. Granted, of course, it is Chapel. Chapel is a totally immoral person. Yes, he has that conflict of, you know, when I'm banging a, a prostitute, I feel bad. But you, you never see what happened to that lady on. I mean, did he pay her? Did he just be like, thank you for the sex? Snap. Did he go, thank you for the sex, stab, stab, stab? You know, it, it's like, <coughs> what what the hell, man? Anyways, and then of course you get a lot of other really, really, really dark shit, man. Um, I mean, like I said, it, nobody's redeemable. Uh, you got Kincaid who you see uh, steal children. You never see what he does to the children, which I'm happy that HBO didn't do that. Because if not, then they'd basically be like, Hey, Hostel, look at this. We did your movie for you. But really, that's the comic book, too. The comic book was very dark. Um, the only thing that basically made HBO almost the comic was the fact that HBO was taking what the comic needed to do. And the reason the live-action film couldn't go to that extreme is because the live action film, when you go ahead and you send a superhero film into the world at large, if it is based off of a, any type of comic book or anything like that, they have to pander it to children. Yes, there's a few comic books out there that are like, no, 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 that's for adults. Yes, those are for adults. Chasing Amy. The reason that's for an adult is because it was geared for adults. And Spawn was geared for adults too, but when they made this, they didn't think that. I mean, hell, if you would have just, if they would have read the comic books up to that point, they'd be like, Oh, shit. This this has to have at least an R rating on it, which it didn't have. I think it had PG-13 at the, at the most. And even then, it's just because, you know, there's simulated violence. One guy almost gets killed. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's toned down so much for the live action, but is just basically the volume on all the violence and all of that stuff is turn all the way to the max, and you break off the knob on the HBO stuff. Um, it's that terrible, terrible contrast. And unlike the, the movie versus the, 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 the TV series, a grand, of course, it's a movie. You only get so much time. You go in more depth in the TV series than you do with uh, the, uh, the, the movie. But the thing is, though, you have to do that with a TV series versus a movie, because the movie can only basically tell you what the basic stuff is. Um... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling on, but this is something that really got to me. Because um, I'm one of those people, I watch something like that, and I'm like, holy shit. Yes, if it's a, if it's a good run, I'll, I'll keep watching it. If it's a bad run, I won't watch it anymore. So, I, that's, that's what I wanted to talk about, really, when you get into Spawn. I mean, there's not much more you can really get into it. it the, the animated series itself is just basically sex death, and the, the the actual comic. I mean, if you wanted to, you could actually just sit down, watch the animated series, because until they actually canceled it, and I think they had four seasons, um, and then just basically, you're, you're caught up to a certain point uh, with the comics. Um, with the, the movie, you don't even really watch it, unless, of course, you want something to basically say, oh, look, that's cool. Um, but that's just the way it is. That's the way it'll always be with, with, uh, comic book heroes, uh, for movies. You're never going to get, I mean, we're never going to see Pitt or the 10th or, I mean, we, well, maybe not a Lady Death. Is there a Lady Death movie? Is there? Is there? 